The GTA Online Summer DLC is just around the corner, and since we already know what this DLC is going to be, how is it going to work? Well, today, I will share with you three different ways that this DLC could potentially work. One of them, hopefully not being the way. However, I'll just say it anyways, because I never speak someone will comment it and think they're smarter than me. You probably are, but like, you know, I'll, I'll take any points that I can get. Now, the first option being a copy pasta of the contract DLC. Can you see why I don't want it to be this option? Because it's just going to be boring. You buy another office. You then realize that Michael's in trouble because someone stole his movie and it's the only copy ever, even though we're all in digital world and it should be saved digitally. Anyways, someone's stolen his movie and then all you have to do is do five or six prep missions, you go steal the movie for the finale, you get paid a million, and then everyone forgets about it and goes back to Kaya Perico because probably nothing will ever compete with Kaya Perico. Unless. We move on from the shit option, being a copy pasta of the contract DLC rocks if you do that, I swear to god, you will have a fisting. I mean... I'll have a word with you. I'll, I'll have a word. The second option being a fully passive business where what you do is you buy a movie theater and then you meet up with Michael at your movie theater and he's going to be like your director. He would quote unquote help you. Not really. It's just an excuse for him to be added to the game. However, what this movie theater would be is 100% passive. You would then buy better actors to perform in your movies. You would buy better screenwriting. You would buy more seats for your movie theater. And overall, over time, the better upgrades that you buy, the more and more it would make. And like I said just before, it couldn't compete with Kaiperico. Unless it could, because you could make it to where each actor, you could have like 10, 20 actors, and each one's like quarter of a million dollars. You buy like seating for half a million. You buy props for half a million, a million. And over time, it's you, you spend millions of dollars on this. So then it would compete with Kaio Perico and people would actually play the game, not make 2.2 million, buy the submarine and then just grind Kaio Perico until the skin on their fingers has worn off. It really hurts, by the way. Now, obviously, you could add something like this, for example, some missions that you could do with Michael to just, you know, actually bring Michael into online and not just have him in this business like Franklin, but... Not like Franklin, if you know what I mean, in the form of the DLCs. Plus also, just owning your own movie theater could be quite fun, because then you could then bring all your mates over, if you have any of them specimens, and then you could just watch a movie in your own movie theater. Now, you probably wouldn't actually, quote-unquote, create your own movie, but... You know, like, the better actors that you get, the better the movie will be. So, aka, the less cringe it will be to watch. Or, you could work it like the nightclub, where up top, you have a completely legitimate business, where you can then upgrade your theatre, and then you just get more money put into a safe. Maybe the safe could be, like, earned more. Like, by default, you get, like, 25, 30 grand, and the maximum you can get every day is like a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand dollars a day. If you then upgrade all your, you know, movie theater stuff and you get like better seating and better movies and all that other good stuff. But obviously this time it'd be a lot cheaper because then down below, like the nightclub, is where the illegal stuff is going on. It's where the money making opportunity is. And down here, you will be making pirated movies then once you have made these pirated movies again like the nightclub you would then just chuck them all into one truck it's one cell vehicle and then you sell them all off it should be a very very nice way to earn money and also another business because it's been like let's be honest it's been quite some time since we've had a decent business be added to gta line if anything it's been a while since we've had a uh, business added we've only really had heists or something that was like a hybrid of heists so come on give us another business both the second and the third option could be quite fun the second one being very expensive however in the long term very fun and also just something extra to have as passive however the third option could be quite fun because the nightclub itself is pretty decent other than how complicated it is to first get your head around however it would be very good to have another thing where it's legit business on top but then down below it's all illegal illegal good stuff back in the early 2000s bliss a bliss time but let me know what you guys think which of these three options would you prefer would you actually prefer it to be a copy pasta of the contract or be one of the other two options being an actual business or do you have your own way let me know in the comment section down below and uh if i like one 
I'll probably like it and then do nothing with it because my ego, it hurts. But anyways, the summer DLC isn't here yet. So while we're waiting, be sure to go check out another video. And if you do that, I hope you all have a fan fucking tastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.